In another story from the West New York Board of Commissioners meeting, a hot topic at the podium was the safety of the West New York children involved in the football programs. Jack Rodriguez, a West New York youth football coach, expressed his discontent with the league West New York is in, the Hudson County Youth Football League, as well as the way the town has handled the program. ACYFL will allow some of the smallest 47 pounds to play with or against children as big as 188 pounds. The disparity in their weights is frightening to say the least, yet ACYFL allows this. They say that because any player over a certain weight can play only the line that reduces the chances of any smaller child taking hits from their much larger counterparts. This is absolutely not true. Parents, coaching, staff, and players alike can all attest to how many times they took big, scary hits from kids that outweighed them by upwards of 100 pounds. Max Akaz of President Teddy was taken out of the whole open field on a biannuals to a hospital for a hit he took during the game. Against West, against North Bergen, Jada Boykins, Frank Lucimichi Jr., Gabriel Solaris, Wendell Garcia, Max Akaza, and James Marrero all knocked out of the game by hits they shouldn't have been taken. While Rodriguez implied that Commissioner Cosmo Cirillo had mismanaged the situation, Commissioner Fior de Elisa Frias and Cirillo both tried to provide clarity on the issue. I'm a parent like you are, and my child was hit as well. Which child plays? Excuse me? Which child plays? He was too. He was too. And I understand your concern. It is a very, very, very important matter that needs to be looked at, as you said. Everything you said is absolutely right, and we as elected officials or individuals in this town should take a lot of concern and care with regards to how these kids are being, right now, put in different teams according to their weight. What I would like to Not ask of you, by, by their age, but some, some of them are overweight at a certain age, which makes them, you know, a lot bigger. What I would like to ask of you, um, due to the fact that Commissioner Cirillo has not had the longevity to be able to work deeply enough into that matter, is will you be willing to assist him in fixing this issue? I if have issue. emails here. I have emails here that I wrote to Mr. Cirillo that went unanswered. Well, Sir, uh, if, if I may, I, I, can, I can respond. I was in office for less than one week when that decision had to be made. And I called our surrounding towns, which are part of the Hudson County League, see what the issues were with the league and what was going to be taking place. And I made the decision because I was uncomfortable changing leagues at the time when I just got in and I wasn't sure what the feeling was, one, amongst the parents and coaches, and two, amongst the safety of the students and the kids that are part of the program. So I made the conscious decision to continue the program that we have been in for the last number of years. It's a program that we've been actually, from my understanding, the town was one of the founding members of so obviously things can change and I'm not opposed to change, but I'm not going to make that change if I'm not comfortable knowing all the facts surrounding what's taking place. And I can tell you it may be bad timing on the part of when I got in compared to who was here before, but at this point in time and when that decision had to be made and was made, I wasn't comfortable making that decision. Later. So. Frias employed any parents in the audience with children involved in the football program to contact Cirillo as the town works towards a solution. If I may, any parent in the audience that would like to also volunteer <coughs> to this conversation, I, I urge you please, this is very important, it's the safety of the kids, and sometimes exactly it's, not, it's not It's not only the coaches or, you know, who's working there with them, it's the involvement of the parents and the input that you guys have with how these games are handled. So I, if anyone just, just um, the commissioner is available for uh, comments. A parent with a child in the program also got up to voice his concerns on the matter. I do want you to take uh, some time and consider changing to the pop um, and the reason, the reason that I'm asking that we go to Pop Warner is it goes by weight. So my son, who's 77 pounds, won't play a 135 pound play. He's going to play somebody between 70 and maybe 100, maybe 80. But I think that's the most important part. Let's not play for age, let's play for weight. Because right. the differences on 11 year olds, as you can know, with all of us with children, the differences are vast. My son is small, has a lot of heart, though. He's small, has a lot of heart. <laughs> but the fact is, he can't get hurt. On a related note, another coach in the program said thousands of dollars raised for the team have got unaccounted for. Now, nobody mentioned about this, but um, I will be the one to do it. Every year, a lot of me, parents always ask us what's going on, what's going on. You know, they're putting so much money. 
A lot of money has been raised for football. I mean, at least a, I'm talking six to ten thousand dollars. Thousand. When nobody knows where the money's at. Who is in charge of raising these funds? I I'm, I'm, I have no idea who's 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 in control of raising the funds, but okay. What are the purposes of raising the funds? Raising the funds is for the equipment to be you know to be fixed on up, or for the football dinners and things of that nature. I mean, like you said, you want to say I don't want to say names, but whoever's in that department, it, the money's it's not is not. Okay, would you, you mind taking this conversation offline? Yeah. Okay. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.